friends. It is not a new week. It is a Friday night, but I don't, I haven't recorded the past few nights. So I think I'm gonna start a dinner, dinner, dinner video tonight on Friday. It's weird. I haven't been feeling well, so I haven't picked up the camera. Uh, it, as I mentioned, pizza night. So we have two of the great value rising crust pizzas. Um, one of them just as is, we add a little bit more mozzarella cheese and like some garlic and stuff to it. This one we doctored up a little bit with some olives. Jackson likes olives. And then I did um, jalapeno slices on mine. So we have a little variety there. Uh, but that's what we're having for tonight for Friday. And this will be the first night, I think, of a new uh, What's for Dinner video. So stay tuned to see what else we have this week. All right, friends. Tonight is Saturday night, and I'm actually cooking an every plate meal. Um, I do know sometimes people don't like these because they don't get meal kits, and they think it's kind of a... Uh, not worth watching and I get that to some extent, but every plate has meals that are super simple like these are the ingredients We got boneless skinless chicken breast some Tuscan heat spice Which is just um, garlic basil rosemary cayenne pepper oregano and fennel Parmesan cheese Roma tomatoes cream cheese and linguine linguine noodles So it's super simple ingredients and this is one of the um, least expensive plans on the market We've been using it now for a very long time. Um, I believe they have reinstated the referral program because um, I have gotten some referrals lately. If you want to give it a try, check out the description link down below. It'll save you $20 off your first delivery. And the products have been great. My produce has been pretty decent, um, even through all of the like shortages and stuff like that. So tonight we are cooking this. It's just Tuscan herb chicken over linguine, um, creamy tomato linguine. We've had this before. It's a meal that we love. Super simple ingredients. So that's what I'm going to make. And I'll show you once we're done. All right, friends, I cooked the chicken. I did it in my stainless steel pan, my Cuisinart. If you know, if you've been around, you know these are newer to me and I've been learning how to cook in them. They created some beautiful fond and then I threw in, once I took those out, I threw in four tablespoons of butter, um, the diced tomatoes, some of the Tuscan spice, and then I added some of this Amore tomato paste. There's a channel that Will and I are obsessed with. It's called Binging with Babish. And I've learned so many cooking techniques from that man. He is like my cooking idol right now. We sit down at dinner and we will um, watch his channel. So this is starting to come up to, the tomatoes are softened, so I need to add like the dairy products and lower the heat on this. Water is just coming to a boil for the pasta. It takes a little while until you stay in the steel or my st something about it takes a while. So I'm gonna put the pasta in and then it'll all be combined in this pan once finished. It's so beautiful, it smells so good. I'm ready to plate it. Jackson is actually just having some of the chicken mixture because he claims he doesn't like pasta all of a sudden and I'm not willing to fight it. Um, I told him they have to fill all three sections of their plate. So he has some of the chicken, some black olives, and an apple. Alice has a banana, some cottage cheese, and then I'll put her pasta here because she does like pasta. And then of course I'll have Will and my bowls as well. Um, but that is our dinner for tonight. Uh, easily replicable is that a word? Rep replicable at home super easy ingredients um the cream sauce was just butter like two tablespoons of cream cheese uh a little bit of parmesan cheese and you kind of melt that in with the um, tomatoes and garlic and everything and then you just chop the chicken throw that in and then once the noodles are done you put it in there and toss everything together so really quick too so that's it for tonight and we will see you tomorrow all right, friends, tonight is Monday. Last night was Sunday, obviously. Um, we had Sonic um, like drive through for dinner because we were out of the house around dinner time. And instead of coming home and having to also worry about cooking, I just went ahead and made the executive decision for this family haha, to, we grabbed Sonic basically, and it was delicious. So I don't have any footage of that. However, tonight also didn't feel like making dinner. It's like, getting hotter here and we were out in the garage will and i were out there um cleaning and stuff and um sorry i'm like focusing on flipping these and not focusing on my words we were cleaning the garage and we came in and it's eight o'clock so if that tells you anything we normally eat dinner much earlier but will doesn't have to work tomorrow so in theory yeah so he's like just make up some grilled cheese so I cut Jackson's because he still has a loose tooth that he can't bite into things. It's his front top. So the kids have grilled cheese with white American um, cheese, or white white American, I think. Some graham crackers. We also ran to Costco today, so those are still sitting on the counter. And Alice like, we have some of those? I said, sure. And some banana. So that'll be uh, their dinner. This one is Jack's. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over on the couch. And that one's Alice's. Will and I had... Um, 
This is mozzarella that I had sliced up and then the Sargento New Reserve Series Aged White Cheddar. So we have a slice of this and a little bit of this on our grilled cheese. So that's what we'll be having. And we had a lot of fruit and veggies at lunchtime, so I'm not like forcing veggies down anyone's throats. Not that I need to force it, everyone likes veggies. Honestly, I just didn't feel like um, cutting anything right now. I just wanna sit down. My back is killing me. So that'll be dinner for tonight, uh, Monday. Hey friends, it's Tuesday night. We were having chicken fajitas. It's the one pan, I like skillet fajitas. So I've got um, red onion, green pepper, chicken breast tenderloins, uh, some Southwest seasoning, salt, pepper. This was actually an every plate meal, but as you can tell, super easy ingredients. And then I made up a quick pico, just Roma tomato, red onion, a little bit of de-seeded and de-veined uh, jalapeno, some lime juice and salt. We've got the small fajita tortillas, some sour cream and cheese. Um, nothing super fancy tonight, but we have been in the kitchen. Will and Jack made homemade chocolate chip cookies with my new KitchenAid mixer that he surprised me with. Um, so hopefully lots more cooking and baking coming at you soon. I've again been feeling under the weather today. I don't know what my body's doing. Um, so anyway, we're gonna eat and call it a night. Hey friends, it is Wednesday night and we are having, um, these are the Johnsonville cheddar like sausage brat things. Um, which I cooked, ignore the black, because I put the veggies in, like the potatoes and onions back in after I removed the sausages and all of that burnt. But um, roasted potatoes and onions and then sausage, Bob Evans mac and cheese, and then potato rolls with butter. So that'll be dinner for tonight and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey friends, it is Thursday night, it is Will's birthday, and we are doing an every plate meal. I let him choose which one he wanted to do. Um, for the day of his birthday and I'm doing the Kung Pao beef bowls with uh, it's got green peppers uh, Scallions rice is cooking in that pot this one I just had two green peppers that I diced with some um, fresh diced ginger or minced ginger some garlic salt pepper and then the whites of some green onions or scallions and then I added in the ground beef which is about a pound of ground beef Next, I'm adding in the soy glaze that came with it, as well as a few tablespoons of butter. And then after that, you literally just serve it over rice and top it with peanuts and green onion. So, should be done shortly. I will show you when it's ready. All right, so we've got some fresh strawberries, uh, an a very large English cucumber that I uh, sliced up there, some green grapes, the rice I added a little bit of butter and soy sauce too, and then the meat mixture. Jackson just has a little bit of the meat mixture because he doesn't care for rice. Alice has a small bowl of each, or a small scoop of each. I haven't done mine in Will's, but um, this is what, actually I, I do want to take a picture of a finished bowl, so I will come back to you in a minute. Jackson's gonna pick some of his produce. Do you want it on a plate or in a bowl? It doesn't matter. I'll take a plate. Okay. Alice, you want to come pick some of your fruits and veggies, please? Two grapes, just two, um, two of each. I just had. Yeah, you guys had a late lunch. Do you want to get a bowl or a plate and pick out? My hair out. I know, I was trying to get it out of your dress. So, I try to always have fresh produce with meals, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far today they've had strawberries, grapes. They each had a pear with breakfast. Those are peanuts and uh, green onions that go on top of the stuff. You can have a few peanuts though. Do you want it on top of your beef mixture? That's where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go in here. <laughs> One peanut? Mm -hmm. Is that how like Fancy Wesh wants to put it? Sure. <laughs> All right, that good? Go ahead and get your produce. I'm gonna make daddy's bowl and serve him for his birthday. Peanuts. We love peanuts. Don't take them all. We need those for on top of our food. There's peanuts in the trail mix in the cabinet. I'm going to spend, spend a few hours picking them out. You're a dork. Alright, so I actually combined, once I got the kids portioned out, I combined the rice in with this. Otherwise, we're always left with a ton of rice. I did leave a little scoop in here in case Alice wanted some more just rice. Um, but I mixed it all together, topped it with the green onions, the peanuts, and a dash of soy sauce, and we are going to eat. So we will see you tomorrow. 
Hey friends, it is Saturday night and this will be the last video for this What's For Dinner. Um, tonight, it might look like we're about to have cheeseburgers, but you'd be wrong. We are having cheeseburger roll-ups or Big Mac roll-ups. Um, so I did some hamburger and onion with nature's seasoning um, on there. Then we've got tortillas. I just opened up another pack and I left it over across the kitchen. Shredded cheddar, I shredded some of that last night off a big block. Diced tomato. Um, Thousand Island mustard ketchup dill relish and lettuce and then I also made up a batch of vinegar um, Salt and not salt and vinegar onion cucumber tomatoes. So it was a cup of water about a mm, Three-quarter cup of sugar and then half cup of apple cider vinegar and half a cup of regular vinegar I think is how I did it and I let that sit overnight and it's delicious. So that'll be what's for dinner tonight. I can uh, show you an assembled one in just a moment. So here's Alice's. She has pretty much everything except for mustard on there. Um, so that's going to be a big one. Jackson just had ketchup and lettuce. And then Will and I typically do pretty much everything as well. So that'll be dinner for tonight. Thanks again for coming along this week. Uh, drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.